converter is unlocked. And if we go here, I start to drive, what we're going to be seeing as soon as I get to a certain range of speed here, you can see at 22 miles an hour, we're going to be seeing the TCC mode says apply, and that's going to mean it's going to turn on a request that the actual converter starts to lock. It's going to go and tell it, hey, you know what, you need a lock, we're in overdrive here in fourth gear, so let's go ahead and start to operate. So what we're going to be finding is, if I scroll through here, we're going to see it's still in this apply state, and we're going to see the TCC PWM duty cycle here is at zero, and my TCC apply time is here at zero seconds. Zero percent duty cycle, zero seconds. So it's requested it to apply and lock the converter, but it hasn't done it yet. And now what we're going to be seeing is we pan through the data log here, keeping an eye on those parameters. As we keep going up here and we see right about... I go back a little bit here. Right when this counter starts here is when it actually tries to go in and lock the converter. So if I pan through here, we can see it starts right here at uh, 0.2 seconds. You can see it starts to count up. Our TCC PWM duty cycle here is at 44.3%, and it's going to be starting from a value that's associated. We, I'm logging my transfluent temp right here. It's going to be associated with a value if we jump into the table. I'll open this up. Uh, looking at our minimum table, the maximum table will just be what it is. Um, it's going to be sourcing a value somewhere in here, and then depending on what our line pressure request is here, it's going to be sourcing the pulse width modulated percent from this table. So if we jump back in, we're going to be seeing that, again, it starts at 44%, and what it's going to try to do here is ramp the duty cycle up so the line pressure goes up so that it goes and it locks the converter. So if we keep paying attention to the data log here, what we want to watch here is our TCC apply time. We can see the TCC mode is still in apply. Our apply time is at 1.9 seconds. And we can see here that it goes from the uh, 2.5 seconds. It's still trying to ramp up the duty cycle. And we can see here now it's locked and it's at 69%. It took about 3.1 seconds for it to go from unlocked to a locked status. So this is going to be a typical behavior you're going to be finding um, as you drive around. And what's going to happen is as you go on and off the throttle, we see here the orange is the throttle. We come off the throttle and we come back on. The torque converter will go from locked as we lift the throttle. It'll go, it'll unlock. We pan through here, it goes off. You can see the lock status goes off. And then as we get back on the throttle again, it's going to go and it's going to apply it. It's going to request it to turn back on. As soon as the timer resets, it goes from 3.1 here, it resets itself and it's going to go again. 